Today I'm going to be showing you one of my Pinterest dreams, the macrame lamp cord. This video is not sponsored by any means, but my friends over at Globe Electric did send me some pretty awesome light bulbs in this really rad rope light fixture, which inspired me to do this DIY macrame light string dealio. So what you'll need is obviously a light bulb of choice. I'm most likely gonna use the Diamante one. And then this is like a lamp cord from Globe Electric. I've also linked it down below and it's 15 feet long and it has this cool rope texture. So it bends pretty easily. And then it has this little clicker deal. And then I like that the plug is like the one that goes up against the wall. You will also need scissors and then your choice of macrame cord or if you wanna use a different type of material. I bought two different thicknesses and I actually ended up using the thicker one right here. This is a technique that I actually used to make bracelets when I was younger, so I don't know if it's considered macrame, but you're gonna start by taping the tip of the macrame cord that is on the spoolie to the end of the wire. Once that is secured, tape it down to your surface of choice, and I just mega taped mine, and it still ended up moving. <laughs> You actually don't have to cut the cord. You can leave it on the spoolie. You're gonna make a number four with the yarn coming above the rope and then you're gonna loop it behind the cord and through the four and pull it tight. So once again, you make a number four with the rope on top of the cord, feed the macrame behind the cord and through the four's little opening and pull it tight. And then you're gonna repeat that step over and over until the cord is covered. And yes, it is tedious, but it is totally worth it. When I did get to the clicker portion, I just cut and ended it right there because I'm gonna hot glue it or E6000 it in the end, I haven't decided. And then I just repeated the same taping step like I did in the beginning and started a new fresh macrame situation. I love how easy this is, and yes, it may take a bit of time, but just the texture wrapping around it, it just looks so awesome and chunky. I seriously am obsessed. So like I said, I just ended it at the clicker portion and then started a new strand the same way I did in the beginning and then repeated that step over and over. This light fixture will look good anywhere, especially in my office, but I'm actually using it to dangle it through the shelves that I just made on Wednesday for my new workshop space. When I got towards the end where the light bulb goes in, I actually just put a little bit of E6000 and wrapped the rope to cover the entire black portion. I just purchased these hooks to which will hold the weight of the light cord itself. So please be cautious when you're purchasing these, you need to buy the hooks that can support it properly when you're screwing it through the ceiling. Obviously hang these to whichever way suits your space, but I just kind of swagged them up to the ceiling and through my workshop shelves and I am absolutely in love with them. I am really happy with the texture that the lamp cord adds. The time that it takes to do the DIY is definitely worth the wait and I can't wait to add some more strands when I have a little bit more patience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this DIY and I will see you Wednesday for a whole new one.